Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today I have some really exciting news to share with you all. As you guys know, I have been auditioning a lot over this summer. That's been sort of the uh, bulk of what my vlogs have been whilst I've been doing Greece. Honestly, I've not had a real true West End experience sort of like the West End lifestyle, I don't think. Because when I have had my days free and should be like, you know, seeing all my friends that live in London that I don't usually get time to see and, you know, just like making the most of living in London, I've been in audition. And sort of recently it's been, if I've not got a double show, I'm in auditions all day. But auditioning is just part and parcel of the job that we're in and we just, have to do it if our contract is pretty short we're gonna be auditioning for what comes next it just means that you can't really feel settled kind of ever unless you've got a long contract which i've never really had however today well over the past like week the tables have been turning so the show that i was auditioning for over the past few vlogs they still haven't cast the show uh it's been about a week since i did the final and yeah, they, they still haven't moved on casting, but I have been offered something else, which I am going to go with. So that means that I am doing no more auditions for the rest of 2023 and most of 2024, which I am just like... <laughs> so what that does mean is I do have a job in 2024, which I'm very, very excited about. <laughs> Let me just apply my SPF while I'm talking to you because I realise I haven't put any on today. Um, what is the time? It is half past two and I just decided to do this vlog because I've just got this news and I'm feeling really excited and positive about it. Um, and I've got a show tonight so I thought let's just do like half a vlog of the day because I want to get as much Grease content as possible before we close. Which by the time you see this we will have closed. Actually, right now, as I'm filming this, I've got two weeks left. But as you guys know, I'm going on to do Panto. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to and excited about because I've never done it before. This morning, I've just been buzzing around the house, uh, sort of doing like laundry and everything. Uh, but I did just want to talk to you about this baby. This is not sponsored or an ad. I know they do loads of ads, but I am not one of them. So this is my uh, complete honest opinion, I, I guess. So if you've seen my past videos, my spots, my acne, I guess, actually over the summer, which is caused completely by stress, blew up, right? I had like literally like spots all down the sides of both cheeks, uh, all over my chin. Um, and it was really, really pretty terrible. Um, I've been using this Dermatica for a week now. And yes, I still have spots. But they've died down a lot. Like, I've only got like maybe t four on this side of my face. But it was like ten. I'm very happy with this so far. It has been making my skin a little bit sensitive. But that is expected. It's like one of those skincare prescription subscription services i did try skin and me before but the way skin and me works is every month they will increase the ingredients and it just got to a stage with me where i had this massive reaction and i could have gone back to say to them you know i had that reaction please minimize my ingredients but i just got a bit freaked out i won't lie um, so anyway, I'm trying Dermatica now, it's about the same price, and I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. As I said, it is not sponsored, but I do have a referral code where we can both get £10 off. Um, because I'm liking it at the minute, I will put that referral code down below, but if it ever gets to the stage where I don't like it, obviously, if I don't like it, I'm not going to want £10 off, so I won't share my referral code with you. I'm just going to sit here doing admin for a bit. I've got my pumpkin spice candle on from TK Maxx that I bought. And yeah, I forgot to say, with the job that I have now accepted, you guys will probably find out maybe in the new year. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll obviously come on YouTube and do a big announcement. Hurrah about it. But yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell you guys. What the hell? Okay, admin is done. Contract is signed. 
end. Um, I'm really fancying a pizza to celebrate and I think we've got one in the freezer. So I'm gonna go and get pizza. Oh my goodness, look at this sweet, sweet boy. Hi, Toad. Oh, everybody, this is Toad. He's from Romania. Uh, he's a rescue dog. His owner was sent to prison and he was flown over to the UK to find him a home. Look at his little face, he's so gentle. He's so sleepy. <laughs> we do have a bigger bed, but he insists on lying in this one, which is too small for him. <laughs> hey buddy, oh, he's so tired. <laughs> oh, okay, so while I wait for my pizza to cook, I do something that I like to call quarter makeup. <laughs> It's not even half makeup, it's literally quarter makeup. It's basically where I just do some brows and some concealer and some liquid blush so that I feel a little bit presentable when I turn up for work and don't look like I haven't made any effort at all. So I'll slick my brows. I am using the Got To Be glued brow gel but I actually don't like it. I much prefer the Pink Honey TikTok brow glue. That's the one I use for the show. This one is more of like a, a light hold if that's something that you like. You can also use this for your hair, like this. And it just gets rid of a lot of the baby hairs. Ta-da! This looks a little bit more presentable, you know? So this makeup here that I keep at home, it's like my makeup that I don't really like or use, but it's for when I'm on my day off from work and say I'm going for lunch or I'm going to meet a friend or going for coffee or whatever. Um, and I just need a little bit of makeup to slap on. All of my actual makeup is at the theater. I just leave it there, it's easier that way. Um, but I do have like two mascaras, two concealers, da 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 da. Some of which that I bought as a double, but really this is all sort of just old makeup. The only thing that I do have here that is just my favourite is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's this called now? Beauty Light Wand. I love this. This isn't actually like strong enough for me to use it for the show. You guys know that I love the Made by Mitchell blush for the show. Um, but for every day this is just so like nice and pretty and like light. Delightful, that's it. I don't know whether it actually looks much different, but for me, I feel like I'm actually like just a little bit put together. Does that make sense? Ta -da! I am so excited. If you're not cutting your pizza up with scissors, what are you doing? I've got around about an hour till I need to leave. I'm just finishing my pizza. I'm gonna sit and watch some Netflix, I think. Me and Luke have just finished a series called The Missing, which I believe is on Netflix now. Uh, but it was a BBC drama, I think. Um, and it's so freaking good. If you want like a gripping watch, please go watch that. There's also a spin-off, which is definitely on Netflix called Julian Baptiste, who is like the detective in the show. We've also just finished watching the David Beckham documentary, which is so freaking good. Um, but we're always looking for new TV recommendations, so if you've got any, please put them down below and we can share amongst ourselves. I might start watching the new Love is Blind. Love that show. Okay, I've got my hat on, ready for the rain later. If you've watched me for a while, you've probably figured out that I am quite a minimalist. Like, I don't really have many clothes. I've said before that we currently live in Luke's nan and granddad's house, and so me and Luke have all of our clothes in a pretty small bedroom. So yeah, we don't have much storage space. But I quite like not having many clothes and like the clothes that I do have, I really love. So anyway, my point being, I realized that I was taking this huge bag to work. This huge, you've probably seen me with it for auditions, this huge black Gymshark bag. And I was taking that to work every single day with God knows what in it. Like I couldn't actually tell you what was in it if I tried. And I realized that I wasn't actually touching that bag when I got to work and it was really heavy and I was taking it back and forth, back and forth. So now to the theater, I take a very small bag being my Uniqlo pouch. If it's a two show day, I will take a tote bag with my meal prep in. Um, but that's the only thing really that I need to take that uses up space. So 
yeah i just take my uniqlo pouch it has my airpods i got this little case from amazon i will link it below as well as all of my other dressing room essentials they're all linked below if you want to have a look at any of them they're really really useful if you like me like to be organized and like to stay quite minimalistic looking obviously my car keys some lip balm my card wallet with my oyster in um and my pass I also have my spare camera batteries, which I keep in this little pouch. I got it from Primark years ago. It is a, what's it called? It's a headphone cable holder, um, but it's just perfect for my batteries. And I can put the used ones in the little pouch in there. So I know which ones are full and which ones are empty. My water bottle, my makeup, my gym shoes, everything is at the theatre. I just leave it all there so that I can just carry this little bag to and from work. So yeah, it's time to head off. Just wanted to take a second on my walk to the bus to acknowledge the relief that I feel having booked something for next year. Something performers don't really talk about is like, oh yeah, the jobs are really inconsistent and you know, you don't know when, where you're getting your next paycheck from and all that. But like how that actually impacts your life is crazy. My main goal at the moment in life is to own my own place even if that is a little tiny studio apartment i don't mind i just want to own my own property and you know just have my own space to put my stamp on and to go home to every night and sort of make it my own and i can only do that if i have consistent work so when i'm going into an audition i'm not thinking oh i really hope i get this job i'm thinking if i don't get this job the mortgage is off the card like that because i'll have a gap and so the pressure and the stress that i've been putting myself under to get something has been absolutely stupid it's been ridiculous the whole thing has a massive impact on your mental health but like i say i've been very very lucky to now have something it does mean i have two months not working and like i'm already thinking in my head oh i'm gonna have to you know start like advertising teaching and i'm gonna maybe have to go back to this place that i've worked before for like a couple of months just to keep my earnings continuous if that makes sense because nobody wants to lend to self-employed people especially if your income is not consistent but anyway all of the sort of worries have seemed to suddenly disappear like that with somebody's decision one person deciding yes alicia is good enough to do that job which in my head is yes she can have her own place to live <sighs> do you know what i mean it's just such a crazy thought and like over the summer next year i will be back on that struggle bus trying to find the next job and the next job after that so yeah the grind never stops all right we're in uh you know when i said i'm relieved to be done with the auditions literally just got another audition through <laughs> for like a workshop that's in between the end of panto and the start of the the next job there is simply no time for rest I literally forgot that i was vlogging but i've just sat here and done my makeup that is it uh there's five minutes till warm up so i'll take you down with me here we are on stage. On stage. And Ready for a warm up. A wild Katie Brace. It's me. <laughs> Sario's been balking. Okay, this is the, the Sario diaries of um, Sario's bulk. Let's see what you look like next time, eh? Sario also brings his wow. own, own music to warm up. Yeah. He doesn't, like, doesn't like the music. No Hello, question. everyone. <laughs> I'm Liv and I, I'm addicted to Vinted. I got these today. Oh. Leggings. Wow! Usually what, like 52? Yeah. 24 pounds. Wow, that's amazing. You look stunning in this light. Yeah, wow, look at that little peach. What do you mean, here we go? to remain mysterious. What do you mean? <laughs> Everyone knows that you're a sweetheart, you're a softie. Let's go! <laughs> Come on, it's Darcy Simmons! <laughs>
best friends bought me this scrapbook for my birthday this year and so it has forced me to take more pictures and just as we're finishing this was some art that somebody made me how sweet um just as we're finishing i've just asked everyone to sign it but then everyone started writing like full-blown messages um so i've just been leaving it here for people to do but what a lovely memory for me to have for the rest of time Ellie has baked these cookies. They are amazing, lovely and cinnamony. Um, thanks Ellie if you're watching. This is Kirsty and we call her Lulu Bassa. Gusto Bassa. Lulu Gusto Bassa. Well, I need, I need a new name now really. Lulu, Lulu Lion Prep. <laughs> so Lulu always used to have fish. Why you not fish. this shop? No! Really? Leave it there like that. Look, you can see that we're in. What do I watch it on the mirror? Come down the aisle. I'm just the noise. I'm just a girl who can't say no. Who am I? Who is this musical theatre girly? Right, I'm gonna do my wig prep. Here I go with my singular pink coat. Here I go again. I'm good. How are you? Yeah. It's not even a pink colour at this point, I just screw my hair on top of my head. Shablam! Grips. Bam. Bell. Twisty woo. Sorted. Okay, I've got my wig on because I've got no foundation on today. Um, my lace is a different colour to my forehead. So I'm just going to have to put this on. Makeup in between here. <laughs> oh my god. Two more weeks and this week will be no more. This costume will be no more. What's going on here? <laughs> We're doing a cut crease. <laughs> Lana's doing Kirstie's makeup even though she okay, said she'd do mine. I will do yours. Hi Dee Dee! Hey, right, look at Dee Dee and then look at me. <laughs> oh, spot the difference. Dee Dee doesn't get ready. No. You're late! And you! You don't want that! Look at this! Happy birthday, Raven! And then look at that. Seven! Can you not Se seven? Seven oh three. And I've not done my wig prep or my makeup, <laughs> and I've not got Neither of you have! Look at you! Disgraceful! I've got a cut crease! <laughs> I just like to chill out. I like to live a peaceful life. <laughs> I'm completely done. I'm just chilling. Enjoying a Pepsi Max. I think I'm going to watch some more Love is Blind. Tamia, what's the intention for tonight's show? Um, friendship. Friendship? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> It is just about to tick over to the beginner's call, which is at 25 past seven. Um, so I'm headed downstairs. Demia hasn't even got a wig on yet. <laughs> so she's just run upstairs. No, I just love being early. I love to just have a relaxing time. I don't like to be stressed. I have these little pouches. My name has actually come off now. It did say Alicia. <laughs> I've got like lip balm in there and my lipstick and stuff. I have my lipstick down here, so I'll just put that on now. But my water and my phone goes in that. Hey, Jake. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hello. Oh my God, I hate us. Hi. Me and Sam have recently been doing those eyes at each other. Um, because we're so sad that we're not going to be working together anymore. Um, very, very sad. I haven't got a question today. Yeah, I had a really good question last week, didn't I? What can it be? What can it be? What, can, what question should I ask everyone today? Can you eat a sandwich. You uh, <laughs> um, What's your body count? <laughs> <laughs> on further. I got it. What's been your favourite memory on this show? 
My favorite memory on this What's job. Um, what, what? Actually, I'm last week. Going on to Kaniki. Yeah, Liam made his Kaniki debut, finally. Uh, I built a mug up while I was doing this show now, though. Sick. Dolly. Oh, Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> what? What's been your favorite memory? One marshmallow. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, played, oh, we played one marshmallow on uh, stage last night and all the fans know it's just that they're all playing at stage doors. One marshmallow. Check it out. Yeah, what was your favourite memory? Oh, big memory. No, no. Actually. No, it's not. Playing Rizzo, that's what we have there. Yeah. That's a play Rizzo. She's playing Rizzo in the West End. That's a good memory. You're a professional theatre debut. What's your favourite memory being in Greece, Lulu? Cat Greece. Oh my god. Lulu, look at you! Wow! Cat crease? What's a cat crease? I need to put that light in the What's your favourite memory be? To look up. I need to think what? about it. Be right back. Tamia, what is that? My headache. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pills. <laughs> Me and Liv have started doing this game where Sam and Sario have to run off and draw an object and then run back on. I need someone to film it. Where should we film it? Thank you. Chicken. It's a chicken. Hmm? Oh, my God. Oh, Thanks, Chris. Sam wins. Sam wins? Wait. That looks like Who wins? a turtle. Yeah. yeah. I think that one I think Sam looks like a duck, but that just looks like an ant that or was something. Like a Sam just keeps drawing ants. <laughs> Is he okay? Your favourite memory? Um, I think mine was probably in the rehearsal room when we like pieced the show together and we ran it loads and loads and loads. And the final time we ran it, the show was just so strong and so good. And it was just a great feeling to be like, yeah, we're ready for the whistle. Yeah, it really was. That's true. Because the second time we really mm. dipped an energy. Yeah. Yeah. And the last time we did it, it I remember we were like, really good. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think actually my favourite memory is our first time running hand jive all the way through. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everyone went wild after. Oh, yeah, no, Chelsea. Fine. We couldn't do the hand jive all the way through at first because we didn't have the stamina. So, yeah, eventually yeah, yeah. we were able to do the whole thing and it was the best. So weird because now I find the hand drive pretty easy. As you guys know, I have a very long drive, but yeah, I've got the stamina now, which is good. Not looking forward to losing that. Do you mind if I record? No. Awesome. I'm just getting my fringe recurl because it's not behaving at the moment. No, I might actually recurl it off because it looks yes, pretty please. cute. It did look cute yesterday, didn't it? It did we look did it cute. Lissia's wig likes to go wild. <laughs> it does, it's great. It does not behave half the time. Yeah. So we just leave it out, child. <laughs> let it, you know. Let it run free. Too. I wonder what it would look like at the end of the show if we did that. Oh my God, can you imagine? It looked like a lion. Saying, Hello. <laughs> it's all like this. Yep, perfect. Perfect, just how we want it. Hey, uh, oh, you need to eat something. <laughs> you made a feature on last week's vlog. I did. I didn't <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Wig, wig Assistant. <laughs> my name's Liv. I just had my eyebrows on the horrendous. <laughs> no, this is great. Hi guys, I'm Wigs. <laughs> this was naked in the back. My actual ritual. Hi. <laughs> what is some, it? I get some of Jan's popcorn. Oh. You want some? Yes, please. Is it sweet? No, sour. <gasps> Oh, oh, I've how dare you. It's salty. <laughs> but today mm. I'm going to give it to Chelsea. Katie always gives me a squashy after summer nights. It's a real treat. I eat it when I'm running around here for Sometimes my pretty my love change. Yeah, but I do hand them out to the girls if you're feeling generous. There you go. Thank you. Gorgeous. I look so cute. I Dolly. <laughs> I am the feature of this vlog. <laughs> Hashtag. Featured by Dolly. <laughs> Go on then. Hi, um, there was a... <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, hi, hi. Hi, um, there was a scene where I wore the wrong trousers. I wore the pink trousers. <laughs> oh my god. All for the only, I would say the only serious scene in the show. I don't think it was my fault, but I had to, for the whole scene, wear bright pink beauty school trousers as Sunny. Um, you were meant to be wearing a black jean, weren't you? I was wore it black jeans? Black, blue jeans. Blue but jeans. But I was wearing bright oh, pink jeans. again. Yeah. Um, it was a laugh after. <laughs> Go on then. 
I love Trixie so much. <laughs> What's your favourite memory? Trixie. The creation, the birth of Trixie. Uh, Trixie. <laughs> and possibly the death of Trixie. That would be my favourite. Why is my makeup gone like that? Why have I got a, a hole in my... Am I okay? I think I have one up there though. I oh, know you might not be. Why is there a hole in it? Oh my god, I need to sort that out. So my favourite memory is probably when I went up to Sunny, because um, I didn't think I'd get to do it, and I got to do two shows. And the best part of that was probably in the ham jive when me and Frenchie were going around in a circle, and everyone just was like cheering us on so much because it was my first time, and it was really nice because we had such an amazing sports cast. Stand by. Stand by. Welcome back to Trixie and <laughs> Robbie Ray's beauty school interlude. We often come it's out. Always we, it's you. always just us two, and then Kirsty, any second now, will come through. Jocasta will come out of that toilet yeah. any second. This show runs like clockwork. There it she really is, does. look. Like clockwork. You guys were expecting We actually, me and Jocasta have a daily ritual. Yeah, let's go. It's yeah. not very exciting, but we did it once, and now it's. It just has to be done. Well, actually, my favourite tricks memory is I always push her in the hand jive, and once I pushed her and you fell over, and that was really fun. Yeah, I really, really fun. enjoyed that. I snog tricks as well. I snog tricks a lot. Though. Yeah, we've shared several kisses during the show. How oh, damn. Yeah. Who, said it, who said it was a family show? Not me. Nobody. Nobody said that. Not us. <laughs> Look, we told you. Yeah, here's Kirsty. Arrived just Kirstie. on time. <laughs> just in time. Have you thought about your memory? No. What's your favourite memory from Greece? <laughs> we all look the same. What about Just going on for Sandy? Taylor. Yeah, no going on for Sandy the second time. The, the leading second. lady. Pretty cool. Sandy D, first job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Um, so my favourite memory of Greece so far has been press night. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was just a really lovely night with everyone getting, getting introduced to everyone properly and just spending a lot of time with new friends. Oh. Oh, hey, 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 part of the show, sweat. So my favourite part of Greece was either the sits probe here in the battle for the first time. Right. Or, you walk in or I think the first time everybody comes down in costume. Yeah. It's so amazing to see everyone in like, costume. Exactly. I really love this company, I love this show. And then you walk so I'm really going to miss it. Yeah. Is it like lovely? Hello everybody, I've just gone upstairs to take my wig off. Um, that was a lovely show actually. Just gonna get changed and get out. Oh, hello everybody. Um, Luke is not at work tonight, he's at home so. Whoop. So, um, I'm not gonna take my makeup off here. I'm just gonna get out as quick as possible. I'm gonna go home and pretty much go to sleep. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for joining me for another day in my crazy life. I hope you've enjoyed some more backstage content and some stuff with the cast. And yeah, I'll see you next Sunday for the next one. Lots of love.